So here's Iketani and he says, I was talking to my junior at work. He says that if you put water into a paper cup, you are able to drift without spilling it. Like it's possible. He's like, if it's you, I'm sure that you should be able to do this as well. Please give it a try. So we're going to be trying to drift without spilling the water in the paper cup. Here we go. I make no promises for how well this will go. And I'm not particularly versed in the uh, Akina uphill. So we're gonna kind of take it a little bit easy. I'm not worried about bumping the wall once or twice. But we'll try and do an okay job here. A little bit of fun trivia now that we're getting to a track that actually has a decent bit of braking. You will notice that I'm actually using my clutch pedal for braking. And the reason for that is very simple. The uh, Fanatic pedals that I'm running have a very stout brake pedal and it takes a fair bit of effort to depress it. And really, in the initial D arcade stage cabinets, the brake is fairly tame. It's not so hard to use. So I decided it would be easier, and it would also just feel better as far as the pedal distance to use the clutch pedal for this game in particular. I'm sure that people are going to roast me in the comments eventually when they notice that I'm using the wrong pedal, but uh, I think it's just going to feel the best to do it that way. I'm really realizing that I don't have the uh, <laughs> shift points for this track figured out at all. At least not for the uphill. But that's okay. All of my muscle memory is from driving a full tuned car in uh, arcade stage four, so what are you gonna do? I'm not too worried about it for the early stages, and by the time I get towards the end of story mode, I'll probably have this figured out. Nice little gutter hook there. If you guys do want to see a little bit more about what my sim setup looks like normally, as well as some realistic sim drifting, check out some of my other videos in the library and you'll be able to see a set of course of drifting. In fact, I'll drop a card in up here at the uh, top right of the screen so that you can check that out if you wish. It's uh, a little different to use all the controls with those uh, games like a set of course. Also, Live for Speed is a good title if you're interested in uh, realistic drifting simulators. Oh, there's our first wall hit. Shoot. Oh, well. Fairly okay with that, all things considered. But yeah, if you get a chance, check out my set of course of content as well. And it will shed some light into what all the control inputs look like if you're actually drifting. And that takes us to the top of the mountain. And we've set a personal best, of course. It says, wow, amazing technique. Real drifting is fast. You have proven that. And now we have the option of adding a white paper cup to the display, and we are going to use that. That's actually the reason in the previous couple of videos, and this one as well, my uh, control overlay has been shifted off to the right instead of centered. I was leaving room for that paper cup. 
Now it's time to tune the car. We're going to progress directly along here and pick up the ground wires, which is part of the electrical tune for the car. So we are approaching the end of spec one. 